So today I know I'm scheduled for a sunrise work observation. So I look at the time. It's today, Wednesday in the afternoon. So I look at our sunrise work observation calendar. So here's Wednesday in the afternoon. Sure enough, my name is there, Chris B. And I am then scheduled for a provider standardized work observation. I then refer down to my standardized work um, binder. And what I'll do is flip over to the provider tab, because I'll be doing a provider standardized work observation. And here we have our standardized work for the provider visit. I'm gonna utilize the standardized work uh, for the provider. I'm also gonna take out our Pareto chart and also the standardized work process observation record. And I'm gonna go find a provider to observe. Hey, Dr. Berry, good morning. Hey, good morning. I see that you're seeing patients today. I'm also gonna be doing standardized work observations and my task is to observe a provider. Would you mind if I go ahead and uh, uh, follow you around and observe you uh, with the patient? Absolutely, that's totally fine. Okay, great. So thanks Dr. Berry for letting me do the standardized work observation. And just as a reminder, the standardized work is kind of more of a, uh, a guide. It's a uh, best practice for a certain practice here in clinic for, in your case, seeing a patient. The linking it to our true north goals, it links to our patients. We really want to make sure we offer the best care possible. Our people, we want to make sure that we maximize your time and that you pack to the very top of your degree and our resources too. This is a busy clinic. We wanna make sure that we offer our resources as appropriately as possible here in clinic. Yeah, absolutely, it sounds fantastic. Great. Good afternoon, I'm Dr. Barry. It's nice to see you. Oh, so my name is Dr. Brown, nice oh, to Dr. meet you. I'm working with Dr. Barry today. I was wondering if I could sit in and observe him as he interviews you during the clinic visit today. And the goal for that is to make sure that we're adhering to the best practices here in clinic so we can get, uh, offer the best care possible for our patients, including you. Is that okay? Sure. Sounds good. Thank you. Okay, so we'll start out by just confirming your name and date of birth, please. John Smith, July. Okay. Hello, oh, Dr. Barry. I didn't no, you weren't here. Uh, let me flip the flag. Oh no, I completely <laughs> forgot. Okay, so that about finishes it up for today. Uh, we'll go ahead and get the orders in and then we'll see you in about three months. And thank you again, sir, for allowing me to sit in and observe Dr. Barry as he chats with you. So Dr. Barry, thanks for letting me do the observation. I thought you did an excellent job and looking here over the, all the steps from step three and onwards, again, an excellent exemplary job. But I did notice though um, on step two, which is uh, change the flag from blue to red. Can you tell me more what happened? Yeah, you know, I just completely forgot until Rodney came in the room and really reminded me how important this step is. I mean, do you think there's anything that we could do to maybe remind you? It is something that's commonly missed. As you can see, step two, there are more than 11 misses here. You know, just one thing off the top of my head would be a simple reminder that we could place on the door just to, you know, reminding that step. That's a really good idea. Obviously, you want to make sure that when you're in the room with the patient, you're sending a message to the other team members that you're there and you really want everyone to respect the privacy of the patient. So that's a really important um, step to adhere to. So what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and mark that this step was missed. Then going here to our observation record, I'm gonna mark that there was a red opportunity for improvement and that you're putting in the recommendation that there's a reminder on the door to flip the flag. We can maybe do a quick pilot study. Absolutely, this is always a learning process. Okay, great. And then thanks again for letting me do the observation and I'm hoping in the future we could continue to improve our process here. So we're now done with the standardized work observation. It's now to come back and clean up and set up. Okay, I'm gonna put my dry erase marker back. I'm gonna clean the standardized work and go back to the standardized work binder. Flip back to the provider tab. I observed Dr. Barry here in the afternoon. He was the provider. And even though he missed a step, which means that I had to flip this to red, there was an opportunity of improvement. And you can see with the standardized work observation, we're creating a culture of continuously improving and also a culture of problem solvers here with our team members.